ACW is sponsored by Jabadi. Self care through skin care. Jabadi is for everybody. Welcome, welcome to ACW Podcast. Thank you for joining me, listeners, for our season two of the Awareness, Culture, and Wellness Podcast. I am Robin Gabriel Parson, your host, and our special co-host today is Dr. Andrea. And I'm so excited to see and to hear so much what you want to share with us today. So listeners, we are stepping into our new season on ACW, but we also are stepping into a new year. So our focus this 2021, and by the way, I don't know if I want to say happy new year. That's such a tough thing to say. I don't know if I want to say, I want to say exciting new year coming forward. Our platform is all about that new you in this new year. And we're not going to talk about the year. It's mainly about developing and touching and tapping into that new you. Now, it's a new year, and yet many of us are still are standing still mentally, physically, professionally, spiritually, emotionally, and it's time to release. It's time to release our insecurities, our self-doubts, all these, oh, whatever these boundaries that we're putting, we got to release them. So this is what we're going to really focus on in the year of 2021 for many, many reasons. Um, we've been plagued with a, a pandemic and we've been isolated and we've been um, social distancing. We have not been connecting. So we want to really help our listeners out there to build themselves within. Now, in reference to being stagnated, many of us can be stagnated within our careers, within the workforce, relationships, personal growth, family and community. But today I'm so excited to have this discussion with our amazing co-host, Dr. Andrea, about personal growth, personal growth, and removing these limited beliefs that have been given to us as a child. So we're going to go deep and we're going to talk. And uh, Dr. Andrea has such an amazing uh, program and movement that she's going to be talking about um, in reference to personal growth. And I love the name. It's called Slaying the Invisible Dragon. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> welcome, Dr. Andrea. Yeah. Please share with our listeners your journey, your background. Thank you yes. for having us being here. First of all, Robin, thank you so much for the opportunity to come and uh, use this platform to share my story. I don't take it for granted. So um, I'm, I'm praying blessings on you and the work that you do and, and so excited to be able to share just a little bit about myself with your listeners today. So uh, my story, um, actually, I'm from the South. I'm from Alabama originally, but I grew up loving, absolutely loving science. Uh, was a curious kid. Uh, I, at least that's the way I explain it. My mom may say something different, but I always had this natural curiosity um, and a love to learn. So I pursued science, uh, chemists by training, um, spent a number of years in school and had aspirations of, of, of growing my career in corporate. But, you know, sometimes we can have goals and we set our goals out and we start running toward those goals, and then we truly find out why we were put on this earth and what we were created to do. And that's what I'm here to share more about today. I left my corporate job in 2015 and to pursue a, 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 a new career, and that new career is spending my life helping others be great. And that's it in a nutshell, but it is to inspire develop and grow people to become the highest expression of themselves. And I do that through my coaching and consulting company. I am a coach now. I speak, uh, I train, I do workshops, I do seminars, webinars, all the things that are focused on helping people to understand themselves, increase their personal yes. awareness and move toward um, success in their life. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Cause we need resources like you. Um, and I, I, I'm really heartfelt over the work you're doing. And um, I would also like to talk more, when we're gonna discuss that later in reference to our young people starting at a young age, based on what you're saying, how can we start at a very young age instilling those principles that you just described? But we're gonna talk about that. But I, <laughs> I, 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 the question is, what is the analogy around slaying the invisible dragon? Yeah, so um, I had, and actually, it was a saying that I would always do. Um, 
when I get ready to go, I say go to work. So literally, that's just a few feet from my bedroom, going to my office. I was like, I'm going to go slay my dragons today. And um, the analogy comes from, as, as we think about story, fairy tales, it would always be a prince. There would always be a dragon. And on the other side of that, there's a princess. So in order for that prince to get that uh, princess, he'd have to slay that dragon that's in between. Well, this is not a fairy tale. This is our real life. And women today, we can slay our own dragons. And so it really birthed out of that whole fairy tale part of getting rid of that thing that's in the way of the prize, where now that prize is about success. And a lot of times, and the reason why I put invisible in front of it, it's not some um, fire breathing dragon beast that's standing in the way that we can physically see in front of us. And then we go wielding some big sword to kind of cut it and slice it down into nothing. Now these dragons are invisible in front of us and they hold us captive. So they could be anything from self-doubt to, to just lack of awareness to fear. All these things stand in a way of getting, helping us get to the prize, which is success in our career, in our relationships, in our life. So that's really what it was birthed out of. But yeah, that was my, my, my fun 2020 saying that I would tell my husband that I was over here slaying dragons here at my desk. <laughs> but now I've turned it into something that can actually help people do that one. So I made it into tangible tools and takes people through steps. And in January, um, it launches, but I'm not just launching the kind of the workbook that I've put it in. I'm launching it with me. So people join me on this journey and we go through it together and we meet once a week and I do a little bit of teaching. You do a little bit of work on yourself, and but you get to do it among other participants because there's strength in those numbers. And so I'm so excited about what I think it will bring. And there's excitement with the people that have already signed up to say, yes, this is me. I want to join you on that journey as well. So thank you for asking. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. Um, and you just, as you speak, I'm having all these visions and like, okay, we got to have a group here in New Orleans. That's where we're, yes. that's where, uh, yeah. And, and it's definitely needed. And it's so ama amazing what you're saying, because you need a group like that everywhere, you know, and just have a network. <laughs> but I love that. I love that. Now we're going to talk about that whole full part personal growth series. Yes. Um, that, and, and I want to start with know your truth. I was reading it and I was like, yes, yes, yes. We don't know our truth. So yeah. please definitely let's elaborate on that. Well, um, it starts off, like you said, with step one, which is about knowing yourself. One of the things that I found, and this is even thinking about my career in corporate is oftentimes I devalued what I brought to the table. I don't know where it happened. No, it's not like somebody said, here, Andrea, uh, you're checking in to work. Let me take your value. Uh, with it, but it just happened in that process. And so before any battle, you can even look at um, the training of a samurai swordsman or even kind of look into the Bible, the story of David and think about him and as he was growing up as a little boy and understanding, getting into situations, but then understanding his strength as he fought off, even before Goliath, a bear and a lion. This mm -hmm. first step starts off with you knowing your truth, understanding mm -hmm. your value, and that that value is not just that paycheck, wherever you may be working, it's deeper than that. And it's under, it is the strengths, um, it is your talents that are God-given, it's also your experiences. You've had amazing experiences, you've had failures, you've had successes, and if you don't spend the time to extract the learning out of those then how will you know the power that you have? And so this first step is helping people to let's just tear back the layers and start to understand who we are as an individual. And then we can go into, let me prepare you to fight that battle. So that's number one, know your truth. I hope you're excited. I know I get excited when I talk about it. <laughs> Yes, I am very excited. I'm so excited. And this is only a teaser. So listeners, it's a lot more. Now, number two, know your opponent. Yes, yes. Uh, the opponent part. What are you fighting against? For me, I tell you the thing that I dealt with. So even though I have a bachelor's, a master's and a PhD in polymer chemistry, probably was more educated than anyone at the tables that I sat at when I was still in corporate. I didn't really under, 
understand the value that I bought, like in number one. So once you get to that value part, now you got to know what you're fighting against. My self-doubt, some of that was there. Some, some of that was fear. So always looking to see what is that big thing that stands in the way. And so in step two, we go through a journey of kind of understanding what are the triggers that kind of make us shut down and say, mm -mm, I'm not going any further or no, I'm too scared to take that step forward because those become the things that you're fighting against. So remember what I said in the beginning is that it's not this fire breathing dragon that we had before that physically we can see in front of it. They're invisible, they're intangible, but, they're, but it feels really real and people feel trapped in these situations. So that second step helps you to kind of open up, change your mindset a little bit and start to look to see what this dragon could be. So it takes you through powerful exercises that force you to kind of look within. And so there's a little bit of journaling. So if you're a person that loves to write, then you'll absolutely love this part because it's a little bit of reflection um, uh, as well to kind of help pull those things out to understand what you're fighting against and the things that have held you back. So that's number two. You want me to go on to number three? Well, I just want to comment on them too for myself. Okay. I just wanted to share with my listeners because you just hit a, a very interesting point for myself and I'm self-reflecting as you go through this with know your opponent and the self-doubt. Now, I had a lot of self-doubt about doing this podcast. I have never done a podcast. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what to do, how to go about it, but I knew that, okay, we're in a pandemic. I... Uh, how do I get my work out there and still touch the masses and still, you know, provide the service? But at the same time, I'm doubting, like, nobody's going to listen or who's interested. And I'm like, uh, so it, it's a, it's, it was a breakthrough for me. So mm -hmm. thank you for confirming that I did go through that. Thank oh, you. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, you're not alone. I'm a chemist, remember? <laughs> I'm a trained <laughs> chemist. Mm -hmm. I know how to create things. And analyze things and I'm a scientist and I still think like a scientist but yet this is that's not what I'm called to do what I'm called to do is inspire develop and grow people and sometimes trusting the process to get you there is mm -hmm. the hard thing where we understand the process of school we understand that we don't start off as whatever our profession is and we understand that we have to go through four years eight years and for me it was nine years of school mm -hmm. uh, for all the degrees uh, but somehow we make a disconnect when we think about the process that we have to go through to become who we were born to be. Right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Okay. So let's go to number three. Um, okay. Activate your inner hero. Yeah. I, that was inspiring. Very oh, inspiring. I love this one. Well, actually, I love all of them. But I love this one because this is, this is what I call my power step. And um, I draw the analogy, if you can think about... Wonder Woman. Uh, I remember now before the new wave Wonder Woman that came out a few years ago, but the Wonder Woman I used to watch with my sister when we were kids. Right, me too. Yes, <laughs> who would spin in a circle. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Wonder yes. Woman I remember. Yes, that's that Wonder Woman. This is about activating your inner hero. So if you can imagine you're walking around in your street clothes and it's time for you to move into action time for you ladies to spin in a circle for for the guys that are out there it's time for you to step into that booth so you can come out as um superman whatever the step is it is about activating that piece and remember i started off i talked a little bit about um i drew the analogy with david and mm -hmm, the fact that right. he had won battles in the past so when it came time to fight the big battle where all the doubters were around he didn't doubt he didn't flinch it didn't matter that Goliath was so much bigger than he was. He knew that he could win it because he could pull along. I'm like, do you not know who I am? I already right. fought a lion <laughs> and a bear. This is that step. It is about activating. You're already successful. And that was the thing that was hard for me in the transi transition of going from corporate to now I'm a coach. And then being able to explain that to people and looking at the look on their face when they're like, you can see the doubt on their face. Like, what? Okay, I knew you was a scientist, but what are you talking about doing now? And then I would just shrink in front of mm -hmm. them because then I would doubt that maybe I didn't hear right. Maybe I'm not understanding right. what I feel inside. Well, in this step, we talk about the fact that, one, number one, you are brave. You are mm -hmm. highly gifted. You matter. 
and you are your own superhero because it's already inside of you. Right. We go back, we look at our successes. When did you fight before? And you know you won. You just forgot about it. Mm-hmm. Pull out those things. I don't care if the sword was small and you have to have a bigger sword now to, to win this battle that's in front of you. But it is about the ability to turn on your inner strengths to fight those battles, to fight against. And I just use self-doubt because, you know, Mm -hmm. I'll tell on my own self about those things. But it is about fighting that self-doubt. So every time I sat in my chair and I opened up my laptop and I was doing whether I was building content or posting something or reaching out to a potential um, um, business opportunity or coaching someone, actively coaching. I was activating my uh, inner hero and I would start, this is before I started writing uh, this piece, putting up what I'm grateful for, what inspires me, the thing Mm -hmm. that keeps my energy going. And it's about remembering those things in the moment so that you can be powerful and strong. Because when we are operating in our strengths, that's how we feel. We feel powerful. We feel strong Mm -hmm. and we feel like we can win when we're in that moment. It is that little bit of time right before the battle when we start to think about every time it didn't work. Mm-hmm, Here, mm-hmm. I'm forcing you to think about every time it did work. It work. And, yeah. and you're right. You're right. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, number four, I know last but not least, sacrifice <laughs> for the win. Sacrifice yes. for the win. Wow. Yes. So many of us do not want to sacrifice. No, we don't. We want the glory that comes with winning. We want the end. We want the Facebook or Instagram posts, the smiling faces and all that. But what's behind that? It's a fight. And Mm -hmm. sometimes you got to give up something if you want to win it. The battle is never easy. Sometimes you have to give up just a little bit to win. So in this this session um, in particular, we talk about the fact that success is not automatic. It doesn't happen. Even for me, in the transition of going from someone managing my calendar to now I do everything. I am the marketing officer. I am the (laughs) financial (laughs) officer. And I deliver the content. I do all those things. But I got to give up something. And so for for me, it may be giving up my time. Uh, It may be giving up, I don't know, you, you name it. Now I have to operate in another level of discipline that wasn't required for the battles that I faced before. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I, I always do, it, and this is with all of my, whether it be a training or, or some kind of um, self-led kind of journey like this one, um, I like to leave people with a plan to move forward mm-hmm. because there's no sense of getting excited and inspired by something. Um, and I don't give you tools that you can move forward. So this, this session right. is about building the plan. It is putting down on paper, what are you going to do? When you get into those situations where you feel like you have felt in the past, what are you going to do differently? Who are you going to reach out with? Mm -hmm. Whether it be a mentor or strategic relationships that empower you. Listening to this podcast, you know, whatever it is. Right, exactly. What are you going to do differently? Yeah, what are you going to do differently? And what are you going to sacrifice and give up in order to do that? one? It comes with those small disciplines that builds, um, builds up to that success. And that's what um, the last session uh, and last, I don't call them chapters because they're really not full chapters, but okay. the last part of, of this journey is about the sacrifice. Wow. Yeah, it is. I, I so appreciate everything you share with us. I know there's more. I'm looking forward to the more. Um, I, listeners, I hope you were jotting down these diff- these four <laughs> part personal growth series. If you haven't, um, Dr. Adrian, would you just, you know, go through each one of them again? So those who aren't want to jot it down, you can get it quickly. Yes. Number one, know your truth. And this is about a framework. I give you a framework to help you understand your truth. So that's number one. Number two is about knowing your opponent. What are you fighting against? What are the things that have held you back and understanding them? Because you can defeat the enemy if you understand where his weakness is. And that's what number two is about. Number Mm -hmm. three, activate your inner hero. This is about bringing out that greatness and walking into it. And then the fourth step is sacrificing to win. Understanding what you have to give up in order to get to that level of success that you desire. 
not just in 2021, but even beyond. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. Even beyond. Now, I, I mentioned early within the conversation about our youth, and yeah. that's what my focus is. And, and I and this tool that you are providing, I'm, I'm visualizing this needs to be in the schools. This needs to be <laughs> part of, no, really, personal goals. Because I knew I grew up in the 60s and 70s going to school. They didn't have this personal growth. This Life had to teach us personal growth. And people yeah. are still struggling. And we're still trying to, you know, get it right because we didn't have such tools. So yeah. my thing is, you know, if we have listeners out there who are teachers or educators, you know, include this in your curriculum. Charter schools have a very flexible uh, curriculum. So personal mm-hmm. growth is important for our young people. Education needs to be a little bit different compared to when yeah. I was born. So and we can Rob, have all the tools. And Robin, I'm glad you brought that up because I have um, spoken at schools and, and not necessarily with slaying your invisible dragon, but I have shared other things, whether it be um, getting over, in particular, insecurities and self-doubt and have spoken on some of those things and helping young people understand that they are great already. You know, you, you're born with everything you need to be successful. And it's hard to believe that one because we spent our life trying to figure mm-hmm. out what to do with it. Um, so I, I absolutely agree. And I've spoken at middle schools and high schools and have done conferences where I've um, done workshops with young people to kind of help them understand themselves a little bit better. Thank you. And we got also just to add to it, having them understand to re- rid themselves of this false belief that this Instagram and Facebook and all this stuff <laughs> have them believing and really going through a, a comprehensive evolution in their life. Mm-hmm. You know, don't let Instagram, Facebook define you because, you know, I have a teenager and I and I have to deal with her like, OK, get off you know, yeah. get off, you know, <laughs> online. It's like, you know, our young people looking for self-satisfaction other places. So this is an yes. amazing tool. So mm-hmm. thank you. Now, how can you register for Slaying the Invisible Dragon? How can uh, yes. the listeners get in touch with you um, if they want to register for your workshops or your webinars? Yes. So you can always find out what's going on by following me on social media, but you can go to my website, which is IDG Vision. So inspire, develop, grow vision dot com slash slaying dragons is how to find out more information about this particular series. And while you're there on the website, poke around a little bit. I had a great series uh, webinar series that I uh, did last year. So much like you during the pandemic, figuring out how do you get your message out there? I did a a lunchtime series, the Brown Bag Virtual Lunchtime Series. And now you can go on and look at every single one of those um, episodes where I bought on successful women, highly successful women to have conversations. So like mm-hmm. we're sitting at a lunch table and we're inviting everybody in to have, have a conversation with us. So everything from work-life balance all the way to knowing your value, which was one of the topics because I was writing on this at the time. And I thought, wow, what a great topic to have Mm -hmm. some senior leaders in corporate America talk about your value in the workplace. And so that was a fantastic one. Uh, I did another one about pursuing your passion. Mm -hmm. So you can read, um, excuse me, not read, but you can view all of the, that entire series on the website. And you can also join my free coaching club called Coffee Break. So all those great links are out there uh, on the website. Um, If you are a business and you're looking for to deliver a workshop to your team to inspire them or move them toward a new goal, I do a lot of virtual webinars as well. And you can find out how to contact me there or email me directly at Andrea at idgvision.com and just reach out to me and we can have a conversation about how you can bring me into your workplace. Thank you so much, Dr. Andrea. Listeners, I hope you enjoyed our amazing conversation today. Again, as I say, until next time, live life with love, intention, and purpose. Thank you, Dr. Andrea. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too. Stay inspired. (laughs) ACW is sponsored by Jabadi. Self-care through skincare. Jabadi is for everybody. 